How's it going, you glorious demon hunter bastards? My name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more Peak of Combat, or better known as Wallet May Cry. The game trying to separate you from your cash to make your wallet cry. And by today's titled video, you guessed it, I'm going to touch on a subject that I think that a lot of people should come to understand, and that is when you're going for summons, don't EX your characters. Let's get into it. All right, this is this video is mainly for my people who are who is paying money or you know trying to dish out as much cash as they can because they want to have that ex endless judgment virgil or that ex devil bringer nero and i'm gonna tell you like i told my stream personally as you could tell i'm an sss with virgil and i'm an s plus with nero right now i am not going out of my way to ex these characters you want to know why because take a look we have a nero we have a spark igniter we have nomadic lightning we even have devil crusher which is ex and i didn't put no money into those characters i didn't go out of my way to spend extra money or anything going ahead and exing a character right now just basically means that when the banner re-rolls again you have nothing to be hyped for that's where it comes down to like i I thought about EXing Virgil. I thought about EXing Devilbringer. And then I thought about something. These banners are going to come back in the future. They're not like true, like 100% exclusive, this one time only deal. They will come back. It will be a couple of months probably down the road. And when they come back, that is where, you know, the hype is going to be to come in and be like, yeah, let me go ahead and try to go for the summon. You know what I'm saying? Going ahead and removing that feeling like, hey, look, when this banner comes around, you got nothing to pull for. You're going to have nothing to pull for, in all honesty. You're going to be one of those people that's going to be like, well, you already did it. So what's the point of even bothering to pull in this banner? Look, I'm not saying for my big whales, like I know a few of them that, in all honesty, they're great guys. They spent a couple of grand in the game already. That's great. But I'm talking about like people like myself, you know, who who's maybe willing to toss like $50 here, a hundred bucks there, you know, just to see where they can get at, to see where their luck is. And I'm just saying, there is no point in, you know, getting peer pressured to go get a EX Virgil or go get an EX Silver Marquis or go get the Tusk at EX. There's really no point. All you got is bragging rights that, hey, I EX a character. But in all honesty, no one cares. I don't think anyone cares. That's why this channel is specifically designing under the condition of, I want to try to keep the characters as low as possible. And if we pull, we pull. If we don't, we don't. I don't want to separate myself too much from the basic player. I don't want to be creating a channel where you'll see every character EX. Erotic and everybody else, you can go watch their channel. They have it all at EX. They will show you their account. It's amazing. It's great. But I still want to be hyped in three months from now doing a live stream on this game. When Endless Judgment Virgil comes back and be like, hey guys, guess what? We got only two more pulls to get him EX. Let's see if we can do it. You know, I want to be able to enjoy my time with the game. I'm at a point where with even Nero at S plus, these characters are perfectly fine. They play very well. They're not, you know, EX, but they still hold their own. They're doing what I want them to do in my teams. They're great. And in all honesty, once you get a character at S plus, I think it's still viable. You don't need to go EX a character unless otherwise you just really want to fucking do it. But I feel that, you know, like I said, a couple months down the road, what you're going to be pulling for? What are you going to be doing? In all honesty, you just took away your own hype. And that's the way I'm going to, that's the way I want to present this. 
I'd rather have fun. I'd rather be that type of person that's going to go ahead and, you know, when we do EX Nero, it might be six months down the road to a year down the road and be like, damn, we got it, guys. Yeah, we spent, you know, $1,000 in this game by that time, $2,000 in this game. But gradually, we built the characters. We built our count up. It's where it's at. We don't have to go force ourselves under a peer pressure scenario of people like, oh, go pull, go pull, go pull. EX, EX, EX. No, 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 no. It's a waste of money for what little fun am I going to have? Once I eat, like if I were to EX Virgil, I'm going to be honest with you, that's it. What other fun am I going to have besides going do raids every now and then? The hype's gone. I want to still be hyped. And that is where I'm just going to make this short little video for you guys and just express the reason why I'm more interested in not EXing the characters. It's just because, you know, I got nine days, I believe. Actually, maybe a little bit shorter now. Let's see, eight days? Eight days and seven hours to go ahead and try to pull for another Nero. All I would like to do is get one more Nero. I'm putting in the gems when I get my gems. I'm throwing my free gems in there, my few paid gems. Otherwise, I'm not dishing out a buku amount of money just to go ahead and try to get him to SS. I'm going to gradually let it happen. And then when he comes back around again, we're going to do it again. We're going to gradually, I'll probably put 40, 50 bucks into the game and pull again. Maybe try to get him, you know, by that time to SS plus. But at that point in time, it's going to be making the content of my channel, making my own personal fun, you know, good. You know, it's going to make it last longer. I don't want to be, you know, at Endless Judgment Virgil's banner, already EX with everything and be like, well, I mean, I got nothing else to pull. Why should I go pull? Why I should might as well just save my, you know, my gems until a new character comes. And as they're going with this game right now, and with the different variations of Del May Cry characters coming into this, like, I don't know how much you can actually build hunters in here or units in a sense. It's not like the Mega Man X dive where you can have several hundred different versions of X because there is several hundred different versions of Mega Man in its own series. In this, we got really six games and only so many so much variety of what we can actually accomplish so i rather savor it than to go ahead and eat my my cake and my pie all at the same damn time that's just the way i feel that's the way i am so until next time guys take it easy hopefully this video will explain a little bit of the reason why i'm not ex in characters and what i think you shouldn't actually I really don't think anyone should EX a character. I think you should just spend your money, get to a comfortable level. You know, if you get him an S plus, SS, that's great. Save your money. Wait for the next banner to drop. He'll, they will come back. It'll take time. Have patience. And then let's build that hype, you know? Let's be hyped when we start pulling for these characters again and say, man, this time I'll get him EXed. You know what I'm saying? All right. Take it easy, have a good one, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.